At least five people have died from the flu in Pennsylvania so far this year. No deaths in this part of the state, but hundreds of local people have gotten sick. And doctors are seeing an early spike in cases, and it's a strain of the flu they don't usually see. Bob Allen's live with what health experts are saying and what you can do to lower your chances of getting it. Bob. Christine, flu season is here in a big way, and the impact is definitely being felt already. Just here in Allegheny County alone, cases are up 1,700% from last year. At Wilson's Pharmacy in Bloomfield, over-the-counter products for the flu are disappearing from the shelves. More and more people are feeling those flu-like symptoms. The um, incidence has picked up and people asking for advice on what they should be taking for uh, the flu or flu-like symptoms at least. A lot of head colds and... Um, people coming in with aches and fevers and so on. Dr. Brian Lamb's office has already given hundreds of flu shots to patients. He says Australia, which has been a past indicator for the flu's impact on the U.S., just finished a bad season. Activity is picking up down south, and it's starting to reach Pennsylvania already. It tells us that we should be prepared for the possibility of a very bad flu season this year. If the numbers are any indication, Pennsylvania already has 1,633 confirmed cases and five flu-related deaths. So far during the 2019-20 flu season in Allegheny County, there are 565 reported cases compared to 32 cases this time during the 2018-19 season. Dr. Lamb says the new vaccine covers the A and B strain and others. Unfortunately, with any flu vaccine, it's what the scientists think is going to be the most prevalent. Some years were, some years they're right on it, some years they're off. Um, but any flu shot does give some protection, um, and so it's still worth to get whether or not, you know, we have 100%. There's no such thing as 100% coverage. His advice for fighting the flu this winter is taking some old-fashioned precautions. The best is hand washing, okay? Washing your hands, um, making sure that you have disinfectant, um, getting your flu shot from your doctor, and most importantly, staying home when you're sick. Now, Dr. Lamb says it's been statistically proven that staying home prevents your coworkers from getting the flu. He stresses there is still plenty of time to get a shot, and he urges everyone to get one to have some sort of protection. Reporting live, Bob Allen, KDKA News.